Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kate Wu. Today I'm going to show you how to paint these magic beans. Let's get started. Let's take some yellow and orange and start some flowers. This is a tropical plant. I don't know what it is called, but it's uh, quite common. It's uh, kind of yellowish, but in Chinese painting, we seldom use just bright yellow. So I've created a shades of orange to um, kind of dark yellow for the flower petals. If you've ever watched my previous videos, I have said that it is very difficult to cover it, the previous layer of color once painted on the paper. In this video, I'm going to show you how exactly that works. So if you want something on the foreground, you should always paint first or leave an empty space for it. That's why you see a gap on the tree branch on the left of the painting. This is a more complicated painting with more little flowers and leaves and um, there will be some beans that I'm going to show you the technique of um, how to paint it. So it's a little long and so Please bear with me, and I think that I will start to fast forward these sections so that you don't get bored. Now the core part of this demonstration is the beads. So take some clear water, just clear, look at um, what it looks like, and just dot on the paper. The beads are dangling from the tree branches, so you have to kind of line it up on a straight line, but not too straight because it is a painting. For green beans, take some yellow to mix it with blue and paint over the dots. Voila, the magic beans. This is exactly what I told you before how in Chinese painting you can't really paint over a previous layer because the bottom layer always shows. I think this is the um, unique feature of rice paper and Chinese watercolor. Now I'm going to add a bird sitting on a tree branch. If you're new to my channel, please check out my other videos where I have described a, in a bit more details about how I paint a bird. Of course, I will demonstrate more in the future, so it will be great if you subscribe my channel and hit the bell button so that you don't miss out the next update. Now I'll add the tails and finish this painting with a lot more details, including more beans and a bit more flowers and maybe some tree branches.
So the last bit is the eye of the bird. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.